Greetings, fellow Empyreans. I am Ashtarothy, the voice of New Eden, and it is October 16th, YC 125, and it is the Eve Universe Show! Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. Did y'all miss me? I miss you. Let's dive into the monthly economic report for September 2023. Uh, Daredevil's, dude, the Daredevil's awesome under the right condition, and I've seen people mess people up with the career for sure. Um, Gila, I did, there's, t there's lots of pirate ships that are really, really good. Okay. Let's not, let's not even front. Okay. The monthly economic report for September is 2023. As normal, we have the economic report for August, July, June, and May, just so that we can refer reference it. Um, so let us begin. So production versus destruction, we can see September. Hold on, where 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 do we leave off? So we left off at this big final spike up, and we can see that that spike up went back down, but that's pretty much a normal, these, these are normal ebb and flows, it looks like. It looks like it's stabilized back down, or at 4 trillion, which is significantly higher than the three, you know, it's, it's a quarter, well, no, a third higher, because it was at 3 trillion back in January of 2022, and now it's at 4 trillion. Um, and that is production. So this is increased production. Whereas, of course, um, uh, mining has bumped up, but destruction, as kind of always, it's kind of interesting. No matter what's happening, destruction seems to remain relatively flat other than these huge spikes. You can see this going all the way back for years, actually. Um, okay. so. Nothing really new here. It just looks like we're stabilizing at a new normal as we enter. Uh, 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 but this does mean that we had an amazingly good, like, look, January, May, September of, la of the year before, you can see, like, there's this big drop off before September. Whereas here, this year, it remains stable and then goes up towards September, which means actually this year is like the summer did really, really good when it came to like activity, at least production activity over the summer compared to last year uh, and the year before, because you can see like the entire summer is this precipitous drop the year before. All right. Key economic figures by region. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got uh Hotchvin at 1.68 trillion. What is this? This is production, right? No, destruction. 1.68 trillion destruction the month before was 1.81. So 1.68, so a little bit down. This one is 2.45. That was the uh that was that structure getting blown up. And 2.02. .02. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like Pochvin has began to cool off. Probably a combination of like a lot of the big fighting that was going on, uh, kind of winding down as those structures get removed. But also, um, you know, Pochvin isn't the new hotness anymore. They're, they're, Zarzak is in town. So that could represent some people shifting away from Pochvin, but uh, it's hard to say. Anything else stand out? Uh, uh, I don't think so. Delve is at 1.45 destructive. 1.3. Yeah, things are pretty stable. Asteroid mined over time. Yep. It, again, very flat this month. This month has been pretty much normalcy, which again, is actually pretty dang good, all things considered. Um, as we like leave the you know right now would be the lull period of time right we have the expansion got announced but it's not here yet the summer's coming to an end so the fact that we are pretty stable i i find that very uh hopeful asteroid mine the the delve at over four billion same as before with the forge lone trek metropolis the next highest null sec 
the Kavala Expanse. Whereas this month, the Forge, Lone Trek, Domain, Metropolis, uh, Kavala Expanse, Kavala Expanse. So yeah, basically Delve are doing mining and a lot of the other null groups have had, you know, we've had competitions for who's going to be the top miner at any given time. Uh, or at least we did at one point. Well, we at least had Delve almost down to sync liaison levels. Nope, that's different. But yeah, Delve's continues to be high and continues to be st steady. Delve is, of course, you know, goons. Imperium. Uh, gas mined over time. We can see that there is a minor uptick in wormhole gas mined. Uh, it is part of a larger trend that seems to just be kind of steadily going up. Oops, excuse me. From uh, May of this year. So from May on up, we've seen this gradual increase to back to being above now. It's year, year high, or at least at its year high, of gas volume being mined. Gas volume by region. Iridia is number one. Same as before, Lone Trek Forge. It's at 40 million before. It's at 35 million now. So it's down a little bit, but basically the same. Ice volume over time. It looks like it's dipped down a little bit from up here at above 1 billion to below 1 billion. With most of that dip happening... Looks like it's kind of 50-50, right? Because the blue is a little bit down, but the red is a lot down. So we could call it partially from both from null sec and from high sec. So there's a little bit less mining of ice going around across the board. Ice volume by region. Number one is Forge, Metropolis, Evershore, Domain. I think that's just the same as always. Let's see. The Forge did 3.5 last month and does three this month. So yeah, half a billion cut off uh, so what, like almost a sixth of uh, less mining in the forge for ice this month? Um, let's see, for September. I don't know why that might be. Maybe that's, I mean, like we've seen the increase in gas and the reduction in ice. These could be related as ice miners move to gas. Um, but other than that, I'm not sure why there would be a dip for that. Or mined seem to be stabilizing at a newer high. Uh, of the year at just under uh, 2.5 billion per spike. And it looks like a lot of that gain has been in null sec. So uh, this is moon ore mined. So this means that those R64 moons have, um, you know, the, or the null sec moons have becoming at least a little bit more productive than before. Moon ore mined by region. We have Domain, Veil of the Silent, and Delve. Whereas before we had Veil of the Silent, Delve, Domain. So Veil of the Silent has fallen below Domain, uh, uh, domain and Delve has fallen... Yeah, Domain has gone up above both uh, Delve and Veil of the Silent. Veil of the Silent was at just over 4 billion. And Veil of Silent is still just over 4 billion. So Veil of Silent is basically mining the same as it was before when it comes to Moon Ore. But what we're seeing is an increase in Moon Ore mining in Domain specifically. Domain goes from uh, under 4 billion, almost 3.75 billion, up to um, four and a half, almost four and a quarter, maybe billion, four and a third. So. Uh, a pretty big increase in moon mining, uh, moon ore being mined in domain specifically. I don't like these charts. I don't understand them. <laughs> I don't know how to get good information out of them. I mean, uh, top imports and exports. Uh, we have, of course, for um, imports, right? Imports are a positive number, right? Hold on. No, exports are the positive number, imports are the negative number. Got it. So Citadel has exported 31 trillion and the Forge has imported 82 trillion. That's about right. Let's see what we had last year or last month. We have Lone Trek at the top at 41. 
Whereas now we have the, the Citadel at 41. Lone Trek is now number five. So whatever was going on in Lone Trek uh, is kind of quieted down. Um, it also could be, hold on, let's look at this a little bit. Let's analyze this even further. 314, 356. 321, 334. So what we're seeing is actually uh, an increase in the imports and at the same time, a decrease in the exports, causing a net change, causing Lone Truck to fall down to this position, right? Citadel makes sense because Citadel is really close to the forge, so things get made in Citadel and then exported to the forge for sale, which is why we have this massive import of 550, 539 trillion into the forge. Uh, last month, that was 570 trillion. So it's actually gone down with 473 trillion going into 456 trillion. So the forge is down by a little bit across the board, uh, both imports and exports. It looks like we're seeing more and more of a shift we're we're seeing a little bit of a shift towards null sec, aren't we? We're seeing a lot in a lot of ways. We're seeing things in high sec becoming a little bit more reduced, and things in null sec being a little bit more increased. I could be wrong though. Sinks and faucets. The commodity market is at three hundred and sixteen. Sorry, thirty nine point seven trillion. Whereas last month it was at forty two trillion, forty three trillion. Um. I wonder how that's going to play out uh, because so these commodities, September wasn't great for events, if I remember correctly, right? And events are where a lot of commodities come from. We'll probably look at this when we see the commodity chart. So we're seeing commodities fall by almost 10%. Oh, seven. Thank you for that, Profit Gaming. Uh, meanwhile, bounty prizes goes from 33 to 32, so a little bit less ratting. Main bank auto payments go from... 17 to 16. So again, a little bit less ratting, a little bit less ratting. Um, House of Records. What were these about? House of Records, Federal Intelligence Office, Ministry of Internal Order. These were something. Why are these giving out particularly high stuff? What was it? What was it? What did we turn into them? I can't remember now. That wasn't Shadow War, was it? Homefront? Oh, is that Homefronts? Is it the Federal Intelligence Office that you turn it into? Okay, whatever. Uh, actually, let me check. Uh... Oh, no, I never mind. I did it with my other character. I can't look it up with this character. Okay, yeah, so that's probably home fronts, which is pretty cool. That's actually really good. So that's what home fronts are a grand total of uh, five, six trill, maybe. Hold on. We got federal Caldari, Galente, Amar, Mimitar. So Mimitar are actually below Project Discovery rewards when it comes to total rewards, which Project Discovery was 1 trillion before and 1.1 trillion now. So yeah, there you go. A lot of this stuff will show better on the charts. So let's go ahead and move on. Commodity and faucets over time. So a lot of steadiness here, as you can see. And, and the Overseer personal effects, um, like... This is a lot of the commodities. I don't know why commodities are down as much as they are. It just looks like every maybe uh, miscellaneous has gone down. I think it's just like the end of the Shadow Wars, probably more than anything. But if everything there looks relatively flat. Yes, overseer, overseer personal effects are going to see a big spike in this particular event. We've seen this before. That's what these other spikes are, our previous events. In fact, we can see 
this over here, this is the spike from last year's Halloween event. Sinks and faucets over time. So we can see that the transaction tax has climbed back up, which is kind of weird because we didn't see, we saw less importing and exporting, even though we see more transaction tax. Um, and a lot of things are just kind of flat. The commodity market, there, there we go. There's the overall drop. Look at that. You can see June, July, August, September. June, July, July, August. So yeah, August would be this like big hump and September would be this dip down and recovery. And that's why we have a little bit less. Uh, is ROP something that people uh, hold on to? I wouldn't say that, but they drop a whole lot more during the event. If somebody has some laying around and they already need to turn in these new ones, they might collect them all up and turn them in. Um, money supply. But we can see that the money supply does continue to grow in a very kind of positive way. Um, with the majority continuing to come from an increase in character wallet as opposed to co corporation wallets. The velocity of ISK has remained relatively stable at its low point since, uh, for basically the entirety of this year. This year has been a stabilization point for the velocity of ISK, although it is, of course, at the, is still at a three, what, Holy crap, hold on. No, actually, it's been stable since for two years now, more or less. Since uh, January 2022, or really, we could go back to May of 2021 that it's been at this lower point. Um, but it has relatively stabilized. Um, but obviously, it is still significantly down from the reign of the Rockwall era. But that kind of makes sense because I would argue that this at this time... Um, Everything we are looking at today will be from before FanFest. Before and during, because this is September. Um, the point is, is that this is less to do with the fact that Velocity of ISK is low now, and more to do with the fact that Velocity of ISK was extraordinarily high before. Why? Because people were buying and selling Titans. People were buying and selling Rope Walls. People were, like... These things, like, people were buying and selling Titans in the same way that people might be buying and selling Dreads or whatever now, right? So, uh, what is that, half a trillion a month? Yes, that is... Is it in trillions? Oh, no, 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 no. This is ISK Velocity. ISK Velocity is how often an, I an individual ISK is traded in any given period of time, okay? So basically, uh, we have about half of our liquid, uh, liquid currency that shuffles around at any given time. Were contracts actually included in ISK uh, Velocity back then? I think so. But even still, like a lot of these guys were able to do it on, on markets and stuff. ISK Velocity is any ISK changing hands. I think. Oh, so, oh, 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 here we go. Isk velocity without contracts and Plex related items. So yeah, here we go. So this big fall is if we include contracts and this comparatively significantly less, uh, smaller slope is if we include the contracts. So yeah, this magnitude here is including contracts which only goes to validate my my comment that this is majority capitals being traded at an at a extremely high level well for every isk that exists uh half an isk gets traded hands right so in other words like uh, if the is if the value is two, it'd be like I use my isk, I gave it to somebody. They used that isk to then buy something else from somebody else. That isk would now have a value of two, right? Because that one isk has been traded twice. Whereas in this case, effectively, 
uh, each isk only gets moved around. Only about half of the isk that is available is actually changing hands at any given time. Is actually doing work, as it were. Um, okay. The mineral price index remains high, guys. Mining remains a good idea. Secondary price index is still very high. Pr uh, primary price index has recovered. And consumer price index remains flat because consumer pri price index is relatively independent from almost anything else. So we can see here, uprising is where we see this spike in the, uh, in the mineral price index, and it never recovers. Same with the uh, SPI and the PPI. So we see this big... This is uprising really did wake up Eve again. So that's what you see. Now in the consumer price index, which is again, relatively flat, we don't see very big changes, but we do see a drop in accessories. Accessories are like clothing items and other stuff like that. Very volatile market. You can see it goes up and down. We have had a minor down, but that's the, uh, I mean, like it's a flat bar. The mineral price index, on the other hand, we see that actually, here's an interesting one, because look at all that red versus blue. So this means that high-end minerals, i.e. null-sec minerals, low-sec minerals, have gone up in price, and low-sec minerals, lo sorry, low-end minerals, i.e. titanium and such, have gone down in price. Now, this makes sense, because as the forges get up, then, you know, the the... The bottlenecks shift more towards the more expensive stuff. And also, as you can see, low-end minerals have had a really good run of it recently, overall. So, um, you know, it makes sense, but uh, it does mean that, like, if you want to get the best value, you might want to start eyeing access to those low-end minerals, or sorry, high-end minerals. Meanwhile, uh, primary producer index, we got... What is this one? Raw moon materials have gone down. This is probably because if we saw, we had an increase in how much was being mined. And so a reduction in how much it costs, but this last dot, you see, it's, it's starting to come back up a little tiny bit, just a little tiny bit. But this one, yeah, we see... Basically, nothing but negatives in the consumer price index, even though they're relatively small. Um, in this one, yeah, we see more falls for the low end. Yeah, exactly what I said. Next. Uh, oh, yeah, also, sorry, down here. Um, advanced moon materials. So the advanced moon materials, the higher end moon materials. Hold on. Now that I see that. Raw moon materials. Got it. Raw moon materials have gone down, but also the um, the products made from those moon materials, advanced moon material. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Advanced moon materials means it's been reacted once, right? I think so. Either way, moon materials have gone down quite a bit uh, in the last several months. And it looks like commodities have gone up, but I don't think that that really is us. Secondary producer index. Salvaged materials have gone up, but then back down a little bit. Um, we do see a rather, relatively trend up. Aho! What is this? Accessories. Oh, <laughs> once again, accessories continue to be volatile and, and be the majority of these changes. ESS figures. ESS is kind of boring to me but um reserve bank thefts we got 40 billion in fountain which is interesting because like if you think about it we got uh delve all the way down here with 3.2 billion so the guys who are ratting the most are getting robbed the least let's see what fountain says who lives in fountain right now that's a frat right Not ice. Shoot, what was I looking for? Darn it. Oh yeah, ratting. We 
think it's towards the top, right? Fountain, fountain, fountain. And August, we had. So in August, Fountain had 0.64 trillion destroyed, 0.7 trillion destroyed, so up in destruction. Uh, mining went from 1.1 trillion to 1.02 trillion. Initiative, okay. So mining down by 10%. Exports. 37, 26, so exports are down. Imports, 35, the 29, so imports are also down, so just lowered activity. Um, fountain. Eight trillion production, nine trillion in production. So their production has gone up, even though their other stats have gone down. Yeah. So they're gonna, but they're getting robbed a lot. Oh shoot! What? Where was it? The um. Do I not have? Oh, NPC bounties. That's actually the one I needed. I skipped the one that I needed. All right, hold on. Purple. Two tri two point oh five trillion. Two trillion. So yeah, their ratting is down, and they're getting robbed a lot more. Uh, bank thefts. Cool, 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 cool. Reserve bank thefts. So once again, dark means that it's bank milking or friendly people robbing from, robbing from their own reserve bank, where the lighter ones are the are true bank robberies. So as you can see, it continues to be that reserve banks are mostly extracted by the people that live there. These keys are gotten in low sec by these really difficult sites, so they have to buy those keys from people that do that in order to milk these um, reserve banks. Uh, wormhole stuff, charts, and things. Let's just look at the trade net summary. We went from... Uh, a really high in in uh, in class five with twelve trillion, uh, in some in class six, to almost the exact same thing this month. Whoa! Do we see any significant changes? Hold on. Nope. The only thing you really see is that there's an additional, a little bit extra gas, and this this represents that additional gas huffing that we saw, right? So as you can see, these things are like. Class 2 and Class 4 are basically no gas being huffed. Uh, and then suddenly now, there is gas being huffed. So, at least a little bit. Largest battles in the Kaldari State. And Galente Faction Warfare. What is that? Uh, is that Tama? Is that... What, what? I don't even know what system that would be. I don't know what system that would be. And then there's the largest fights in uh, New Eden in August, or September, rather. That's it. It was kind of a quiet uh, month as we were waiting for, as we were waiting for and then participating in FanFest and all that sort of stuff. But it looks like overall things are pretty steady. And I'm hoping that things only get better um, when... Uh... Oh, Papa, what's huffing? Uh, 
so you mine minerals, but you can't, um, you know, you don't mine gas. You in, you breathe you you bring it in, right? And so when you when you uh, when you breathe in quickly, it's called huffing, right? I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So when you're huffing, you're huffing gas means basically extracting gas out of a gas cloud. Uh, gas is particularly useful. Uh, wormhole gas are used in both T3 stuff and also um, uh, capitals and other like higher end ships now. And um, low sec and empire gas is used in uh battleships capitals and all pirate ships so uh that gas is extraordinarily valuable and it's gas stuffing is one of the is probably the best way for an alpha to gain isk as a miner outside of doing home fronts home fronts are incredibly good isk uh for doing but of course those don't provide anything for productivity just isk all right, uh, I think that that about it. Wonder if they'll ever add cat ear production to those graphs. I know, right? Ah, oh, they're so mean. They're so mean about that. 